It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Coming up on the 202, from winning international awards like the Sarah Vaughan Vocal Competition to touring all over Europe, Lauren Talese is one of those rare voices everyone should hear, and she's with us today. Plus, a rising young music artist from right here in the DMV who describes herself as a gem in the rough. Camilla Gem also joins us. Also, for young, talented, and fiercely determined students across the country, there's a unique opportunity to go for the goal in the halls of Congress. Plus, over on the turntables, today's guest DJ is a host of DC Radio's popular show, Raiding the Crates, our buddy, John, John Avery. Avery. Welcome to Raiding the Crates. I'm your host, John Avery. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought clean. this was my show. Ah. <laughs> I thought it was his show. This is a walking, talking encyclopedia of music. Yeah, I can tell. From the know. A to the Z, from the Ritter to the Twitter. I, <laughs> I listen to all of it. Whoa. Rock, pop, classical, uh, jazz, house, Everything. disco. Everything. Yeah. That's dope. That's Glad at dcradio.gov and 96.3 HD4, correct? That right. is it. We got you, right. John. Join me. Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. We got you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And originally from Cleveland, Ohio, vocalist Lauren Talese has been captivating audiences around the world. It's no wonder she captured first place in the International Sarah Vaughan Vocal Competition. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Lauren Talese. Like I've known you for years But we met Just an hour ago I never know we're such old friends But I like you a lot So don't go You're nice, you're very much me. How very nice we could be. But we wouldn't have all that we have. Let's never know and just be friends. Cause I like you a lot So don't go Take me home and stay For the night with me If you're good I'll make you a mom Quite notorious Cup of Costa Rican coffee Cause I like you Yes, I like you Now, you may have heard of the Presidential Medal of Honor, but there's also a very prestigious Medal of Honor given by Congress to America's youngest achievers. To give you an idea of how big a deal this program is, it's the only charity operated by Congress and the highest honor paid to young civilians by U.S. lawmakers. Here to tell us about it is Paxton K. Baker, Chairman of the Congressional Award National Board of Directors, and Erica Heiss, National Director of the program. 
Hey, well, good afternoon. People. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Oh, oh, great to have you here. Nice to meet you and good to see you again. Absolutely. Now, tell us how this all came about. We want to know everything about it. Requirements, uh, how do people get to be a, a part of this? So I'll start with the, I'll start with how it came about and then Erica can jump in on the requirements. Uh, an act of Congress in 1979 by a senator from Wyoming, Repo Republican senator named Malcolm Wallop and a Democratic congressman from New Jersey named Frank Howard. And the mindset behind it was to put together a set of goals for young people to earn a congressional medal. So it starts off with a bronze medal, which is 100 hours of service, then silver, 200 hours, and gold, which is 400 hours. Mm -hmm. The medals are minted by the United States Mint, and we do state ceremonies throughout the country. And then on top of that, we do a big ceremony here in the Capitol, and we had 50, 60 congressmen, somewhere thereabouts, and about mm -hmm. 10 senators come in and hand out medals to the young people who throughout the whole of the country earn a congressional medal. Senator Mike Kinsey from Wyoming is fond of saying it's not something that you win, but it's something that you actually earn through hard work. But basically it's to encourage America's youth to uh, earn something that's uh, meaningful. And I've had hundreds of parents throughout the years uh, come up to me and thank me for scholarships or different things that their uh, young people got through the achievement of the Congressional Award and then also how it really picked them up and gave them a purpose in life and uh, it's, something, it's something beyond high school diploma, something beyond a college diploma, ages 13 to 24, mm -hmm. and they earn a congressional medal. So it's, uh, it's an achievement. It's a yeah. milestone That's achievement. A big deal. That's amazing. Well, yeah. well th there's a lot to know about this. Sounds like a great uh, program. But Erica, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, who's eligible? Well, any young person between the ages of 14 and 24 mm -hmm. are eligible to earn a congressional award. So the program is completely non-competitive and Congress will give out as many awards as there are young people willing to take on the challenge. That's wow. unusual. Yes, yeah. so it's very unique in that way. And all young people are doing is competing really with themselves because it's all about personal challenge. Young people will register for the program work with an adult mentor or an advisor, someone at their school, youth group, someone through church or a neighbor, and that advisor will sit down with them to help them set four goals in the four different areas of the award that are personally challenging to them. Voluntary public service, which mm -hmm. is the backbone of the award where most of the requirements are coming from. There's physical fitness, personal development, which is any extracurricular hobby or activity, mm -hmm. something you're interested or passionate about, and then expedition or exploration. So explore a new and different part of DC or visit another city that you're unfamiliar with, figure out how to plan the trip, what you need to bring with you, what the weather is gonna be, what money you might need if, if there is any, or explore a museum, you know, which is wonderful thing about living in DC. Yeah, there are many yeah. museums to go it. to, yes. Yeah. So that, that part is all about encouraging young people to explore a new and different environment from the one that they are accustomed to. Well, wow. I'm sure, Erica, you and Paxton both got to talk to these young people. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how have you been enlightened by oh, these young people? Well, I think for one thing, you wonder what you were doing at <laughs> age 14, 15, 16, when they're telling you all these amazing, inspiring stories and goals that they've set for themselves. But I think what's important, though, is to know that Every young person is different, what they're interested in, what they're capable of, where they want to make a difference. But Congress had the idea of really encouraging young people to look into their community and see what the needs are mm -hmm. in your neighborhood. How do you help your neighbor? How do you help your school? How do yes. you help you know, someone else? And, and just be aware that there is something greater than yourself. And some of the things that our young people have come up with are amazing, starting their own nonprofit organizations, wow, working great. with their fire department, with their library. I mean, it's working with the armed forces. Ra raising money for, for wells in different parts of Africa. Yeah. What? Right, yeah. yeah. So we're in D.C. How do you reach out to young folks in D.C.? Has it been a challenge or how many are, have been in part of the program? Well, we don't have enough. We know that we need to reach more students in the district, mm -hmm. and we really want to engage uh, in this next year, really through schools, through youth organizations, mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, we know that there are a lot of students that are doing these types of activities already, and we would love to recognize them for all the good works that they're doing. And then there are some that simply don't know about the opportunity and would be encouraged by this program to, to do more. And I, I wanted to add to it that uh, Bruce Walker, who's who's the programming chief over here, just joined our board. Okay. Oh, so uh, we're really enthused about that, yeah, and awesome. he's already brought He's brought a lot of energy to it. Actually, we wouldn't be here today if it was without Bruce. So Bruce has already spoken to the chancellor of schools, and we're looking to uh, put a lot of extra effort, specifically this year, into working with the D.C. public school system. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, before you go, uh, how, what's the website address and how can they Congressional get it? Congressionalward.org. Congressionalward.org. Yes. You want to throw in anything to that? Congressionalward.org. Um, it's, it's easy to register. Just remember, you have to know about it first. Yes, so yes. we encourage you to go to the website, register, and then start working on your goals. And everyone works at their own pace, okay? So there are no deadlines to meet except for your 24th birthday. So you have time. Excellent. You just do what works for so you. So is it 13 and a half, right? 13 and a you half. You can register right. as, and as early That's as 13 and a half. Right. Yes. 13 and a half to 24. Thank you. We work with all the branches of the military. We work with the Boys and Girls Club, 4-H, mm -hmm. Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. Peace Corps, AmeriCorps. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to come back and tell us more about it at a different time. But I know. thank Lovely. you so much, both of you. It's 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 a great program. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, make sure make sure your children are registered for it as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Mine are uh, plugging away at it now. They're involved. <laughs> Mine are involved. involved. Yes. Next up, here's what a, a clue to what's going on over at the chef's table today. It has something to do with the letters B, B, and Q. Oh, I think I can smell it. Stick around to see what's <laughs> cooking when the 202 returns right after this. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Welcome back to the 202. As we always say, the DMV is teeming with talent, especially in the music field. One of them is a singer and songwriter from D.C. who says she fell in love with the art of music and poetry at a young age and has used them both to make magic. Here's Camilla Jim in our studios today. Camilla Jim, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you for having me here today. I've seen you all over YouTube. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I yes. think you're a bit of a star. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. So at, at a young age, you said uh, music and poetry. Do you write poetry also? Yes, yes, that's yeah. how I started, and then okay. I turned that into songwriting and recording later on, so yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always, they say you remember your first, your first time, your first ever you remember your first poem? Yeah, I remember my first poem that I turned into a song it was called Relax Your Mind. Oh. Yes, and that was more of a, like a therapeutic song. Um, and it was just like to help people get through difficult situations. So that was like a oh. memorable oh. one. So me. what's the song you're going to perform? So first? today I'm going to perform Magic. Magic. Yes. Right. I've seen that one. I can't wait to see you do it live. So thank you. Right. I'm excited. Take it away. I feel your magic now. The rain is gone. Don't lose your magic. Cause you got to have it Cause you gon' need it Said heart and mind are open Light of a summer solstice He got the soul of a saxophonist Saying something, turn him in, it's the moments Saw you sitting across the room and I noticed Look familiar, I can feel your magic Magic it feels like love, goodness, satisfaction, mindful, fire, so much passion, power, will through the circumstances. So what's the value? Is it adding, crafting? You're a builder, it's familiar, and I can feel your magic. I said I feel your magic. I feel your magic now, no rain is gone. Don't lose your magic Cause you got to have it And you gon' need it I feel your magic now The rain is gone Don't lose your magic 
Now, creating the best barbecue in the DMV is so competitive that there are annual barbecue battles for the title. So what's cooking on the 202 today are some dishes that give Rockland's bragging rights in the business of barbecue. And here to brag is Chef Chris, Chris Black from Rockland's. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice Welcome. to meet you nice as well. Nice to meet you guys are so kind. I'm actually yeah. not a chef, I'm the general manager. General manager. But thank you for the kind words. Okay. <laughs> You're chef today. Chef I'm chef today. Chef, chef GM today. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. Rockland's Barbecue, I've heard about it for years. It's been in the District of Columbia for at least 20 years. Yeah, coming up uh, next year, our first location in Glover Park. Uh, yes. Celebrating 30 years. Wow. 30 years of what? business. So, yeah. But you also have other restaurants. Yes, yeah. yes. We have one in uh, Alexandria mm -hmm. off of Duke Street. And the one which I work at in Arlington and Clarendon yeah. off of uh, Washington Boulevard. Well, you All know right. the thing I love about barbecue is that most people think of it, or some people used to think of it as a summer thing, but it's all year round, yes. isn't it? Right, right. I mean, warm up with a nice warm pork sandwich That's and right. some mac yeah. and cheese. Ribs right. in October. Right, right, right. You know, chicken all year round is good. Right. But <laughs> you've right. got a lot of vegetables here, too. Yeah, yeah so. so um, We've got our cucumber salad, minted cucumber salad, um, nice and fresh on a hot day. Yeah. Uh, we've got our corn salad, which is very tasty as well. And one of my favorites, the broccoli salad, ah. which, um, you know, it's a mayonnaise based sauce with some uh, toasted bacon in there, onions. Michelle likes broccoli. Almonds. Right? I, I yeah. like broccoli. Yeah. I like broccoli. And, and what's and in the baked beans? Baked beans, uh, it's a secret recipe. You don't say in business for almost 30 years, uh, oh. revealing the secret. So. You'll tell us after. After. after, after, really. yeah, after Popular after. menu <laughs> item, I'm sure. And the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, cheese yeah. That that's look at that. Decadent. That is everyone's look at favorite, that. yeah. Now, yeah. you use a different type of macaroni. That's like shells. Yeah, it's a shell macaroni. A um, little bit different, a um, little softer, more filling in the mouth. But it's, it's what we do, and we've been doing that for... Close I, to 30 years. I see okay. something interesting over here. A little oh. mini mini muffins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mini jalapeno cornbread muffins. Jalapeno oh, cornbread. So they're spicy. No spice. Yeah. Just uh, jalapeno serves as almost a aroma. Okay. So. okay. All right. It looks great. Well, tell us about the ribs now. These yeah. are dry rubbed? Are no, they? so these are wet. Um, we smoke them for about three to four hours oh. in our custom built smokers, which are wood only, no gas, no electricity. Um, and then we'll finish them off on the grill, caramelize the sauce on them, yeah. cut them up, and ready to eat. Yeah. Wow, all and right. you've got sauces too. Now we can get these in the stores. Yeah, online, yeah. So or? Sauces are available online and at our retail shelf. We call it the Wall of Fire mm. in our stores. Um, you can buy them for five ninety nine each. And they're different flavors here. You brought with yep. you. Yep. We've got a these. sweet and smoky sauce. Yeah. Um, for those people with a sweet tooth, we've got a citrus sauce uh -huh. and a mustard based sauce. Ah. ah, I think I'd like the mustard based one. It sounds good. Now tell us what's torn apart in this dish. This looks like some kind of big cool. yeah, so piece it's of actually, the meat. It's actually chopped pork. It's chopped yeah, pork. It's chopped okay. pork. Okay. So it's pretty much the same thing, but we mm -hmm. chop with a big cleaver. Yes. Um, you know, we'll cook that in our smoker for anywhere from 8 to 14 hours. Slow cook it so it's nice and moist and uh, take it out of the smoker and chop it up and put it on your plate. Wow. Now, any secret, home secret, like if we want to smoke our meats, what's, uh, do we do anything special first or? Um, I would just say practice makes perfect, honestly. Find, find, find your technique and, you know. Or just come to Rockland. Oh, yeah, just come to Rockland, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend. Right, right. So what's in this pot here? Ah, oh, that's this some of that is, sauce. Right, so this is the sauce that goes on all our meat in the store. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. This is our house barbecue sauce, the original one. The three sauces that I showed you that are available for retail yeah. and also in the store, yeah. um, those came online about two to three years ago. But uh -huh. this is this is the OG sauce right here. Okay. So. Now, if you were building Furman a sandwich right now, build one for him. Yeah. A sandwich Take, for you? Yeah, yeah. for, for right. Furman because right. he's been working hard today. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's been I working he's hard. And eat. staring at the ribs so we'll, and staring at the chicken. We'll use this as his makeshift yeah. plate. Okay. So we'll, you know, we'll take some of our chopped Get pork. Get some of that chopped yeah. pork. Chopped pork. You see a sauce, man? Yes. Yeah, all right, all right. we we'll gotta put some course. sauce on we'll there. We'll load it up there for him. Yeah. yeah. All right. He likes hot sauce. No <laughs> hot sauce today. <laughs> <laughs> he still gotta work. <laughs> she knows everything. All right. Now we want to see him take a nice big bite yeah. of that. Okay. okay. All right. I think he was skimpy on that sauce, though. <laughs> yeah, a little more sauce. A little more sauce. All right. All right. All right. Chef all right. GM, yeah. put some more sauce on there. <laughs> ah, there you okay, go. Okay. There, there we go. All right. All right, our taster, our okay. taster. Come on, Furman. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, is that good? It's not good until you get <laughs> sauce all over your mouth. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> this is delicious. You want a bite? No. Okay. I'll watch right. you eat it. Okay. I'll, I'll gladly do that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you, GM well, thank you so Chris. Much. Yeah, thank you guys for having us. And congratulations to Rockland's 30 years, you said, in Glover Park, right? 30 years in Glover Park next year. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations. Don't go away. We'll be back with more of the 202 right after this. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Welcome back to the 202 and our visit from the very talented Lauren Talese, whose voice has been described as classy, smooth, sexy, and <laughs> extremely versatile. And although her debut album was called Gorgeous Chaos, what most music critics note is her impeccable timing. You are amazing, and I was yes. trying to think Thank of you so much. why why your voice sounds for me is because it's all the great qualities of all the great singers that, that have been around. That is such a huge compliment. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But this Sarah Vaughn thing, it's amazing. It's a pretty big deal. Yes. She was called sassy. Your friends call you sassy as well? Some. <laughs> <laughs> Those who really know me, yes. Yeah. And what do they know? <laughs> My sassiness. I definitely have a sassy side. So, Let's yeah. talk about uh, those Philadelphia roots. A lot of great artists from Philadelphia. You worked with Bilal and uh, who else? Vivian Green. Vivian. Uh -huh. And those two are really important to me as I actually kind of learned a craft while behind them. It was through seeing them perform and do radio interviews and actually uh -huh. be up before everybody else, even if we were out until three in the morning due to a show, staying to the very last person leaves, signing CD. Vivian was excellent with that and just kind of seeing that it wasn't just the glitz and glamour it's not just mm. look pretty get in front of the microphone it's also having the things together before the show so that you can actually perform a show well and hopefully everybody who's working with you is happy uh, <laughs> that people so, connection goes. yes, yes. So yes. I, I mean and Vivian's a, a very talented songwriter and Bilal it was just like a master class singing behind him because his voice is so dynamic and he has so many different ranges and tones in there that yeah. you know and we share a birthday, too. Oh. Yes. yes. Wait, tell us about the song you're going to sing next for us. This next song was written, um, actually, it was written by myself and one of my best friends, Erica Hicks. And we both were going through our own respective breakups. And there aren't many songs from a female's perspective that says, I'm sorry. There's one in particular that I could think of right now, I apologize. Mm -hmm. um, but this one is just like, OK, I messed up. Please forgive me and wow. everything will be better. So wow. that's how we channeled that energy of loathing and eating ice cream and just kind of vegging out. <laughs> we were like, let's be constructive and write a song. And so this one's called Forgive and Forget. Well, I love that. Your voice is both delicate and arresting at the Thank same time. Thank you. I love Thank it. you so much. We can't wait to hear it. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Words can't describe the pain I feel Knowing that I hurt you But darling, if I could go back in time Lord knows I would have stayed true But the damage has been done And it seems nothing that I do Will make you see That although I bruised you Time heals all wounds Remember the first time we, we fell in love so deeply Nothing has changed, baby say it, say you'll stay We've had more good than bad times I've made you laugh more than cry Nothing has changed, baby say, say you'll stay I know that between us trust was lost It can be recovered If only you could see inside my heart You'd surely discover That although I am only human And I've made mistakes I love you I'll do whatever it takes To bring you 
back home to me. We fell in love so deeply. Nothing has changed. Baby, say it. Say you'll stay. We've had more good than bad times. I've made you laugh. Nothing has changed, baby. Say you stay. Cause if you forgive what I've done, baby, I promise you my love will make you forget all of the pain and everything will be the same. If you forgive what I've done, baby, I promise you my love will make you forget all of the pain and everything will be the same. Forgiven. Yes. All is forgiven. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much oh, for having you. me today. Awesome. awesome. All right. Well, thanks to all of our guests today Lauren Talese, Camilla Jim, and Chris Black from Rocklands, and of course, my co host Michelle Wright. And thanks to DJ John Avery and to all of you for watching us. Furman and I will see you again next time on the 202. This is the 202. This is the 202. This is how we do when we party uh, in the 202. Yeah. Hey. Home of that good live music. Come on. Live on set, live audience approves it. Uh. The best hopes that don't get no tighter. Yeah. Herman and Michelle can't get, get no writer. Taxation, no representation. Nah. But the 202 repping for the capital nation. Uh -huh. So from 703 to the 301. Yeah. yeah, we all come to have some fun. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party in the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party it's in the, the 202. It's the 202. Uh.